Thursday, October 31st, 2024. Happy Halloween, everyone. Um, it's weird when it's at, like at the sort of the end of midweek, because um, it feels like everything happened last weekend and Halloween's already over, kind of like we've voted and like, shouldn't it be over? Um, it's one more day in the longest week in history. And y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. Um, <laughs> we're still talking about garbage, which is kind of um, it just, it's just feeding into the hand of the whole, of Trump's whole plan this whole election. I have to agree with Alyssa. One of the stupidest like campaign decisions I, I've, I can think of this is far worse than Dukakis in a tank with a helmet on. He stumbled to a garbage truck that was emblazoned with his name on it, as if to say, I am the keeper of garbage. <laughs> he stumbled his way, his tiny little hand couldn't reach the door handle. He could barely get up into the truck. And then, like, um, you know, like a little five-year-old boy, you know, with a fire truck, he got driven around a parking lot in circles in the rain, slowly. The fuck? So we're talking about that. And then he goes in this stupid rally, still wearing his protective vest. I think he, like, he likes the costume. Um... And then he says, I'm going to protect women whether they like it or not. That's what an abuser says. Uh, it's, there's nothing left to say in this campaign. Like, nothing. Um, I don't think what Joe Biden changes anybody's mind. I just, we just need to get it over with. Um, and we still have days, <laughs> days and days. Um, but you know, she keeps doing rallies and the, and she's killing it, talking about, um, the American people and what she's going to do for people. And we're not talking about anything about that. We're not talking about any of the things that she's planning to do that she wants to achieve because we're stuck with this visual of that dickhead in a garbage truck driving around in the rain, being driven around in the rain in slow circles. Like, oh. And everywhere she goes, she's getting protesters screaming about genocide in Palestine. Why aren't they protesting Trump? What the hell do they think he's going to do for the Palestinians? That whole block of people is annoying the crap out of me. I get it. We're all horrified. But if you think for one second, by protesting her, which she's allowing you to do. She's protecting your right to protest, which you're not going to have under him. And she's listening, and they're trying. You know who they're negotiating with, right? You think Netanyahu is a really easy guy to get through to? Who's also trying to stay out of jail? But if you really think that by protesting and and trying to um, in some way prevent her from winning while therefore allowing him to win, you're shooting your own cause in the foot. He'll let Netanyahu run roughshod. There won't be Palestinians left. And the ones that are here will probably get shipped she then get killed by the Israeli army. Is that is that going to help anything? 
oh, I'm cranky. I'm cranky. <laughs> it's just exhausting. I didn't sleep well. I don't know. Like, this is it. Like, I've been okay. Uh, but now it's like, oh. Um, so it's like 72 degrees on Halloween. And even though I have a leaf blower, I'm going to go outside and rake leaves because <laughs> I feel like that seems like a nice therapeutic thing to do, sort of rhythmic, not a lot of, you know, not really mentally taxing. Um, and I'm just going to try to think about something else uh, other than this fucking shit show of an election. <sighs>